welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this kind of sunset-y look. I wanted to go for like a sunset, not sunrise. That's why there's purples and blacks in it. So it kind of gives you a little bit of that orange, pink, gold, and purple, and black. Oh, I love it. I'm super excited how it turned out. Keep on watching for that. And I'm going to be making something with Angry Orchard. I am super excited to do it because I like Angry Orchard. And it's not Angry Balls. It's another kind of cider drink. Easy to drink, pretty excited about it. Keep on watching and we'll get into that drink now. All right, let's get started on this cocktail. What are my fingers doing? This is called the Angry Cuban because it has rum in it. Num, pineapple, what do you need? Some Angry Orchard. We're gonna start with our glass of ice, our rum. I'm using Bacardi Silver. Nope, I'm using Bacardi Superior. That's what I meant. <laughs> Puerto Rican, not really Cuban. One and a half ounces of rum. A can of pineapple juice. One and a half ounces if it's a three ounce can. Flash of grenadine. It's probably be good right as it is. We can stop now with the rum, pineapple, grenadine. Probably throw in some coconut rum to it. Call it a day. The whole reason why I'm making this video. Angry Orchard. And it's not twist top. And half a bottle of this. Angry Orchard. Bottoms up. Look how pretty that is. It's like multicolored. So I'm gonna stir it. Add a little straw. Probably add a little pineapple slice if you want to make it pretty. Add whatever you like. It's your world. I just live in it. This is so good. Yum! I just found my new favorite summer drink. Yes! I hope that you enjoy the rest of this tutorial. I hope that you like this sunset -y look. I love it. It's great for tacos and tequila. Sunset, sunset -y tacos, tequila, though. No? Okay. Continue watching if you'd like to see how this is done. If not, fast forward to the end because I think I have some bloopers. <laughs> Judging by how this video has gone so far. I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Hey, everybody. All right. I am back. Starting with my primer. This is the Glorious Face and Eye Primer. I'm going to put that all over my face. Before I start out with my color correcting, this is the NYX Color Corrector. I like to use that seafoam green color to hide any of my acne or acne scars or darkening around my nose, as you see here. Then I'm going to take the salmon color and that goes underneath my eyes to hide the darkness. I kind of colorect my face so that the foundation looks more flawless. Then with the eye primer, so I didn't want to forget. So I start with my eye primer, put that all over my lids, and then I go in with my foundation. This is the Touch Foundation and the Touch Foundation brush. And I wanted to remind you, in June, the Flawless Four, you can get all four of these for $99. Saves you a whole lot of money. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome deal, which you can definitely get this month. Um, but yes, you put it all over your face, perfect. It gives you the perfect flawless look the best thing ever and then the mineral touch uh, concealer I use two different colors and I mix them because I'm right in between organza and scarlet then the sculpting trio oh my goodness this was the May kudos and I love it I love how it looks um, I'm sorry it is no longer available right now but they might bring it back you never know then I take a blender bud and I take that all over and kind of just blend it into my face and get rid of those harsh lines then I'm going to set my concealer with the Touch Mineral Powder with my Morphe brush. It's a very just plain powder brush. Any powder brush will do. Um, this is the closest one to me. And then my bronzer to warm up my face. I use the blusher brush. It has that beveled end on it and it makes for a great contour to add to that and to warm up your face. This is the bronzer in Sunset. Then back with the trio, I take that highlighting part and the flat part of the brush and brush that onto my high points, my cheeks. I didn't think it added that much of a highlight and I like a whole lot of highlights, so I add more. But so I go back in with my blush. That's when I realized that I didn't have enough highlight and after I did my blush. And then I used the um, mineral powder, which is the one that's sexy and you will see here. with the Moodstruck Addiction Palette in the shade Determined and a nice fluffy brush just to set that primer, just to set a good base before we go in for the crease. This is the one in Tickled, same brush, you just kind of create a very nice windshield wiper motion and a little bit of circular to create that crease. 
Then I'm going to take the Elegant, which is the Splurge Cream Shadow, as a nice little base. It's beautiful and it's so easy to work with. And then I kind of keep blending. You'll see me blend a lot. I'm going to only do one eye so it don't take up a whole lot of your time blending and blending and blending. Then I'm going to take the shade Defiant. This is another cream shadow and I'm going to create a little bit more of that sunset look with that dark orange. It's a beautiful burnt orange and just kind of again blend, blend, blend to blend it all together. This creates that beautiful sunset. And then the shade Cheeky to darken that outer V. You're going to really slowly, very slowly, um, kind of pack that on to the outer corner. Then with the Moodstruck Precision Pencil in Perfect, I'm going to line my waterline top and bottom and then take the Moodstruck Precision Liquid Liner in Perfect and do my winged liner on top. Then with the liner shader brush and the shade Cheeky in that palette, I'm going to line my tight line against the lower lash line and get that real tight. And then I'm going to buff it out with a little bit more of the Cheeky to kind of match the top lash line. Then I'm going to start off with my brows off camera with the Precision Brow Liner in Medium. And my camera died, so I'm going to start on my lips with the shade Pouty. This one is a perfect pinky nude, perfect for the underneath of the Kylie Metal Matte Lipstick. This one is awesome. I purely bought it for this look. I wanted to get that beachy look. And of course, all the products are mentioned down below, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. I am sorry my camera went out before I did my mascara, but you've all seen me do my mascara, so I will link the video to another one that has my mascara down below. And also you can find any of my social media right here. And also you can shop for me if you'd like to buy any of these unique products. You can shop for me at MakeupAndCocktails.com. There is a fly. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed that cocktail, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Um, what is... Peter! Does anyone want to buy a Pomeranian? Tacos and tequila! I learned the hard way that you're not supposed to shake beer in a shaker. I had tacos today, but I'm having rum. Tacos and rum, but that doesn't sound so pretty on a Thursday. Taco Tuesday. Taco, taco, taco.